So instead of turning your two net with a bias, here is something you can do. I'll be using this net. I actually cut it in two. That way I'll be using one to turn the other. So while cutting your two net, ensure that you cut them together and not differently. So as you can see, the size and everything is in the same shape. I actually pinned it up. That's why as you can see, everything I have here is corresponding and all the length, the breadth, every part of it is of the same size. This is because I cut them together. So from here, I'll just go ahead to sew this together. This is why working with a two net, ensure you don't use your back stitch. If you intend going backward, all you have to do is to lift your footer like this. Then you start again from the top. That way you will not be having a squeeze start up point. So you can actually see that I'm making sure that the both of them is equal at the top. I hope you can see my stitch line. So as you can see, I actually sewed it like this all around. So before you turn it over, ensure that you trim this. So after trimming it like this, you can now go ahead to turn it up like this. You can see how neat this is. You can see that I didn't use the bias tape. And you can see that it came out fine. It came out easy. 